What's up, friends? Fellow card collectors, Card Obvious here, and today it's time to go through another binder uh, for my 2020 binder year in review videos. Um, this one is the second part of football. This one con contains the rest of the Dolphins cards. Uh, if you remember in the last video, we stopped. It was around 2012 on the cards. And uh, yeah, so this one has the rest of my Dolphins collection, which is all the modern, more modern stuff, Dolphins, and my Hurricanes cards. Um, all in this one binder. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in and take a look. Okay, so starting off, we got some 2012 tops here. I think it's 2012, it might be 2013. No, it's 2012 tops. Kind of crooked here. I think my camera is crooked. I'll try to fix that. And I think that's a little bit better. Um, let's just go ahead and start going through these. We got 2012 tops here with uh, Jonathan Martin. It's part of that bullying scandal uh, down in Miami. Devon Bess. Here's Reggie Bush. Uh, Mike Gillisley. Deion Jordan was a draft bust for us. Both of these are rookie cards. Um, here's my earliest Ryan Tannehill card, 2013. I do not have a rookie of Tannehill. Um, Jamar Taylor, Mike Wallace, signed to be a deep threat. Eh, it was okay, I guess. Uh, here's a Tannehill score, 2013. Uh, Gridiron Legends, Dan Marino up here. Uh, Tops Cold, Cold. Tops Gold, Cam Wake. Uh, Brian Hartline, uh, Dan Marino, Archives. Another Deion Jordan rookie here. Gillisley, Gold rookie. Um, Marino, Goodwin Champions, Mike Wallace. Tannehill, Brian Hartline, no Sean Moreno, uh, really good signing for the Dolphins, but he ended up tearing up his ACL early in the season, um, pretty much ended his career. Uh, Tannehill, um, Damian Williams, uh, Tops Fire Moreno, here's Upper Deck Moreno and his Pit Uni, SPX Moreno. Uh, this is Tony Lippett, uh, he was actually a wide receiver in college, but they switched him to cornerback in college. They didn't have enough cornerbacks, or vice versa, one of the two. But when he, he came, he was drafted as a cornerback. Um, here's a team leader's red uh, with Tannehill, Lamar Miller, Cameron Wake, and uh, Mike Wallace. And there's the regular team leader's card right there. I thought I had the black version of this, but I can't seem to look at it. Uh, here's some certified with uh, Kenny Stills and Lamar Miller. Uh, Greg Jennings, he really didn't play much. Here's a framed... Uh, Donkey Kong Sue, a framed Dan Marino from Gridiron Kings. Jordan Cameron, uh, tight end, came to Miami. He pretty much stayed injured. Another Jordan Cameron. Here's a Tony Lippett Heritage uh, Ricky uh, Chrome. Pretty cool there. Uh, franchise Black Tannehill. Uh, this is a Browns card. You know, as you can see, it's the Browns, but it's Paul Warfield. So, literally, I love those cards. Paul Warfield um, autograph card. Uh, I think I got this through a trade years and years ago. Um, but yeah, I love this uh, Paul Warfield autograph. Uh, Leonte Carew never really uh, amounted to much here. Tannehill, Cameron Wake, Sue. Um, drive team was Zonka, Greasy, and Paul Warfield. Uh, Dan Marino down here. Legends of the Shield, no fly zone. Shot Jones. Uh, this is a Cordrea Tankersley a rookie card. He was supposed to be a really good... Uh, cornerback for us but couldn't stay healthy so uh they moved on from him drafted Xavier Howard signed Byron Jones and uh I think they released Cordray Tankersley but I'm not sure signal callers insert score Dan Marino top targets Jarvis Landry from uh Donruss before he went to the Browns another Jarvis Landry smoking Jay Cutler one of the more forgettable seasons uh, in recent memory <laughs> Cam Wake Jay Ajayi was really good for kind of a flash in the pan type running back. Ended up being traded. Then ended up trading him to the Eagles, I believe. Here's Devontae. Charles Harris. Tannehill. This is Optic. Jay Ajayi. Jarvis Landry. Uh, Raekwon McMillan, who I th think they just traded not too long ago. Isaiah Ford. <laughs> Funny story about him being traded this year. Um, this Raekwon's numbered out of 499, and this Isaiah Ford's out of. 60 out of 99. I don't know what these parallels are called. That's a sweet Isaiah Ford card. 
funny story about Isaiah Ford is uh, the Dolphins traded him to the Patriots for a s- supplemental draft pick or something like that. And then the Patriots ended up releasing him and the Dolphins signed him back. <laughs> so basically the Dolphins let him go, got a seventh round draft pick, and then signed him back. That's that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure every team would do that if that happened often. <laughs> I just find that funny. Raekwon McMillan rookie, uh, Jarvis Langes, or Rashad Jones red score, and the regular Rashad Jones here. Um, Jay Cutler select, Jarvis unparalleled, Kenyon Drake action packed. Here's a contenders, uh, legendary contenders, Dan Marino, Jakeem Grant light speed, playoff heroes. Uh, Dan Marino here is cool card. Revolutionaries, Dan Marino. Legends, Dan Marino. There's a Ryan Tannehill, Panini. Uh, Laramie Tunsil. Uh, this is the Blue Knight. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see up there on the top. It says Panini Blue. It's in Blue Knight parallel. Uh, Tunsil. Tunsil was a great story. I don't know if y'all remember. On draft night, he was supposed to be a top 10 uh, draft pick. Some people actually had him ranked as the top 5 yeah, he was actually the top tackle in the draft. But then, the night of draft night, uh, somebody uh, released a video of him hitting a bong <laughs> with a gas mask. And his draft stock dropped. And he fell all the way to the Dolphins at number 13. And, yeah, I mean, he was one of the, the top young tackles in the league. The Dolphins ended up trading him to the Texans uh, for two first-round draft picks. And two second round draft picks. Got a huge draft haul for Laramie Tunsil. And uh, yeah, so all Dolphins fans are pulling for Houston to lose this year. So uh, they get a good draft pick there in the top 10. Uh, we got Kenyon Drake here. Kiko. Xavier Howard. Uh, possibly a defensive player of the year this year. Mike Jacecki, uh Rookie card. Great tight end. Uh, just got injured not too long ago in, a game, in the game against the Chiefs. Uh, here's Devontae Parker. That's the blue parallel. The regular Devontae Parker, as you can see, it's got the silver foil on it. The Dolphins logo. This one's got the blue foil. Um, Durham Smythe, rookie guard. Uh, Devontae Parker, certified. Uh, classics, Dan Marino. Contenders here with Tannehill, Kenyon, Kiko. Here's a Durham Smythe uh, autograph. Uh, Dan Marino, upper deck. Jason Taylor, Don Russ. Cameron Wake, Don Russ. There's a Robert Quinn. He's in the Rams uni, but there's a Dolphins logo down here. Uh, we got a Kalen Balaj, uh, rated rookie red. This would have been awesome if Kalen Balaj was somewhat good and could stick with the team. Uh, Mike Jacecki, rated rookie. Devontae Parker, optic. Kenyon Drake. Minka Fitzpatrick, uh, rookie card, optic. Really makes me sad that we traded Minka. He didn't want to be here for the tank. In uh, 2019, when the Dolphins had a new coach, they were 0-6 or something like that. Everybody was saying, oh, it's the worst team of all time. The Dolphins are going to go 0-16. And and then you get the first pick in the draft. None of that panned out. Minka did not want to be there for that. As for a trade, traded him to the Steelers for a first-round pick. And, yeah, um, I wish we still had Minka. I love Minka. Uh, Mike Kosecki. Um, rated Ricky, Frank Gore, um, Ricky Williams in the background here. It's a pretty cool card from Illusions. Uh, this one's numbered out of 199. Kenny Stills Limited. This one's numbered out of 99. Okay, here's a uh, Kenyon Drake out of 299. Origins Red. Then we got some playoff here with uh, 10 L. Kenyon Drake, uh, Danny Amendola. Cameron Wake, Minka, Jerome Baker, rookie. Um, Tannehill, Amendola, Mike Jacecki, rookie card here. Uh, Kenyon Drake, red, white, and blue. I call it the Barber Bowl. <laughs> Barber Bowl parallel. Regular Kenyon, there's a Kiko, uh, Frank Gore. Uh, Amendola, there's Jerome Baker, rookie. Um, Balaj, there's another Minka, rookie. From Prism, Jerome Baker, uh, green Prism. Followed by the regular Jerome Baker. Uh, Tannehill, another Minka rookie. Jerome Baker rookie. Parker, here's a Jacecki uh, from Sage Hit. Another Jacecki, Durham Smythe. That is the red border and a Durham Smythe red border here. In focus. 
followed by the regular Durham Smythe, Jaseki, Miles Gaskin Gold, Leaf Draft, uh, Josh Rosen Elite Series, or Josh Rosen, uh, Preston Wilson, Preston Williams, uh, Rookie of the Year from Contenders, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Kenyon, Devontae, uh, Studio Series, uh, Gridiron Kings, Dan Marino, this is numbered out of 100, number 2 out of 100, which is really awesome. Um, Josh Rosen, there's a Fitzpatrick, Drake, Christian Wilkins, Rookie, Press Proof Red, followed by the regular Christian Wilkins, got a Miles Gaskins, uh, Press Proof Blue Rookie, Rosen Optic, Kenyon Optic, Christian Wilkins Optic, uh, Miles Gaskins Optic Rookie, uh, Kenyon Drake Illusions, got a couple of those in there, I don't know why I got two of them, um, Josh Rosen Illusions, and then we got Legacy, Kenyon, uh, Legacy, Kenny Stills, I think, yeah, it's Kenny Stills, uh, Ricky, Miles Gaskin from Legacy, uh, Christian Wilkins, Luminance down here, Playoff, Rosen, Parker, Drake, Xavier Howard, uh, Dan Marino, Ricky Williams, uh, Christian Wilkins, Ricky, Kickoff Parallel, uh, Rosen, Kenny Stills, uh, Stained Glass, um, Dan Marino down here in the corner, awesome card there. Uh, Kenyon, Frank Gore, Christian Wilkins, rookie from Score, Preston Williams, rookie from Score as well, Unparalleled Kenyon, Bobby McCain, rookie, Jason Sanders, rookie, one of the better kickers in the league now, here's a Dieter, Michael Dieter Auto, this was sent to me from, um, I believe Jeff sent that one to me, uh, autograph Michael Dieter, um, I hope he, hope he gets better, because I think he can be a really good offensive lineman but he's lost playing time this year to some young players which uh you know if you're a Dieter fan might worry you a little bit um Christian Wilkins uh premier draft from hits here's a Tua Leaf here's a Tua rookie from Chronicles uh notice I do not have a Tua rookie where he's in a Dolphin Genie uh Christian Wilkins legacy uh Legends legacy my uh Dan Marino here's a Devante Mosaic uh, Silver, uh, regular Mosaic, Marino, Ricky Williams, Jaseki, Jason Taylor, Zach Thomas, Dan Marino, all Mosaic this year. Uh, here's a Tua, Ricky from Playoff, uh, also in his Alabama Uni. Devontae, Preston Williams, Kalen Balaj, Cordrea Takersley, and X, Xavier Howard. And on the last page, we have a John Beck, Ricky. I know it's out of order. Um... But I think I overlooked this card and just threw it back in here. So, now we get to the Canes. Alright. So, the Canes are different from the Dolphins. As the Dolphins I have uh, organized by year and set. Uh, these I have organized by players. So, any player that had that I had over five cards of gets their own section or their own page. Um, under that, I just kind of threw them all together. Uh, I don't have them organized in any way. Uh, but yes, yeah, so starting off, we got Brian Blades here, some Proline, Fleer, Edge 93, so Brian Blades had enough of his cards. Here's uh, Frank Gore here, uh, 2010 Frank Gore, um, Archives, Throwback Frank Gore, I love that card. Uh, Bowman, Prestige, Score End Zone, uh, Frank Gore, Donner's Highlights, Frank Gore. Then we got Jimmy Graham here. Jimmy Graham tops platinum. Uh, fantasy team acetate card right here. Uh, love that card too. 2013 score. He's going for the dunk. Um, Jimmy Graham, Jimmy Graham. Here's a camo prism of Jimmy Graham. Trying to get you to see the shine on that one. Uh, that one's numbered out of 299, I believe. I'm um, pretty sure that one's numbered. Maybe it's not. Yeah, it is numbered. It's numbered at a 199. Sorry, 199 for the Jimmy Graham. Donner's Jimmy Graham. This is orange uh, prism, which I think is numbered as well out of 275. Jimmy Graham orange prism and then the Donner's. And then we got Ted Hendricks. Uh, six Ted Hendricks cards. Uh, a couple older ones here. Uh, score Hall of Famer Ted Hendricks. Super Bowl Superman. Um... Hall of Fame selection, Ted Hendricks, the Mad Stork, Accolades, Ted Hendricks. Uh, then we got Michael Irvin here, um, 
some older Junk Wags Michael Irvin Collector's Choice uh, Extreme that's Fleer Gowdy Michael Irvin. Uh, I'm not sure what set this is right here. Aurora, that's what that is. Prism, Decade of Dominance, pretty cool little card there. Um, Legend Series, always sweet, sweet cards. And then here's a uh, Contenders, actually shows Michael Irvin in his Miami Hurricanes uni. Alright, here we got Jim Kelly, who I think I have the most cards of as far as Hurricanes. Some older, here's a Fleer uh, with Jim Kelly on it. Um, in action, uh... Jim Kelly Pro Set. Here we got two Pro Sets. You wonder why I got two Pro Sets? Well, it's actually two variations of it. I don't know how well you can see it on this side, but one has this football here and one doesn't. So there's actually two versions of this Jim Kelly card if you happen to have it. You can take a look for it. Um, score, uh, Skybox Premium, Upper Deck. Uh, there's Upper Deck. Shows Kelly in his Miami Uni. Uh, archives, Gridiron Legends, another archives there. Um, Jim Kelly, another upper deck. And then you got Score Red and a Donruss. And then I also got one of these uh, folder cards, triple folders. I need to get some more of these pages. Uh, these 4 by whatever, I think 4 by 6 or whatever these are. Um, but this is a one of those triple folders cards. As you can see it opens up to a bigger set, Jim Kelly. So that's pretty cool. Nice little oversized card there. Not real big on oversized cards, um, mainly because I do not have the pages to uh, put them all in the binder. But if I can get more binder pages like this, where I can hold some bigger stuff, I definitely. And these probably will work out pretty good too for like relics and stuff because they're, you know, you can fit a pretty thick card in there. Um, so yeah, I need to look into picking up some more of those minor pages. Um, Cortez Kennedy got quite a few of his cards. I love this card. Probably my favorite Cortez Kennedy card right there. It's just like him looking down at this uh, Patriots player here, number 44, <laughs> just towering over him. It's just, you know, this is an intimidating shot of big Cortez. Cortez Kennedy, Cortez Kennedy, I think this is numbered out of uh, 5,000. 5,050. It's just a arbitrary choice of uh, print run there. Uh, here's Ray Lewis. A bunch of Ray Lewis cards here. Um, nothing particularly... I used to have a Ray Lewis rookie, and I do not know what I do with it. Not a... Uh, Ray Lewis... Ah, uh, what year? I mean, I think it was 97. I believe that was his rookie year. Um, not sure if that's considered a rookie. Might have been 96, Collector's Choice, that I had a rookie of, and I... No clue what I did with it. Uh, Legend Series Ray Lewis, Playoff Ray Lewis. Alright, here we got one of my favorite canes of all time, Ed Reed. Uh, only got a few of his cards, mostly as Ravens. Here's one of him as a Jet. Um, Warren Sapp, Warren Sapp, another great Miami Hurricanes uh, from the past. Warren Sapp, here's one in his uh, Miami Uni. Funny story about Warren Sapp is Warren Sapp actually played tight end in high school. Well, he played both ways. Uh, D-line and tight end. But when he was in college, he would go out and run with the tight ends and would basically run circles around him. Very, very, very athletic guy for his size. Um, which made him the reason why he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, Reggie Wayne, um, another Miami Hurricanes. Great Reggie Wayne uh, with the Colts. Great, great tandem with uh, Marvin Harrison and... Uh, Peyton Manning up there. So here's just a bunch of different uh, Canes cards that, you know, they're either got multiple Canes on them or I just didn't have enough cards to give them their own little section in the binder. Uh, we got, this has got a, who's that, Warren Sapp? No, it's Russell Maryland, uh, Vinny Testaverde, and Michael Irvin. And there's two of those. This one's the blue parallel, and that's the regular. Or this is the silver parallel, and that's the regular. Uh, Michael Barrow, John Beeson, the Beast, Eric Flowers, who's actually currently a Dolphin, uh, but is injured. Vilma, Calias Campbell still playing. Um, Alan Bailey, another Test of Verde there. Um, Calias Campbell, Randall the Thrill Hill, Travis Homer, Alan Hearns, um, James Jackson, Edge, Edron James, Duke Johnson, another Duke Johnson here, Jimmy Johnson, but technically not a Hurricane graduate or. He didn't play football down there. He's a 
legendary Hurricanes head coach McGahee, McGahee, Lamar Miller here, uh, Stephen Morris, Sam Shields, Jeremy Shockey, Gino Toretta, Alan Hearns, uh, Denzel Perriman, uh, Yatil Green, Edron James, Andre Johnson, Vinny Testaverde, Greg Olson, Travis Homer, a couple more down here. Um, kind of this custom card here, Dwayne Johnson. Uh, little die cut here, Edron James, pretty cool card. Another Travis Homer, Benny Blades, Jeremy Shockey, Darrell Williams, James Stewart, Jesse Armstead, DJ Dallas, uh, Edron James rookie card here. I should have enough Edron James, put him in his own area as well. Bernie Kozar, Bernie Kozar, Bernie Kozar. Uh, Vinny Testaverde, Greg Olson, Travis Benjamin. Uh, Tyrone Moss, here's an Eric Flowers auto. Leon Searcy. Uh, Antro Roll, Colin McCarthy autograph. And a uh, Bernie Kozar. So that closes out my Hurricanes collection. Like I said, this is the smallest collection I got um, as far as in the binders. Back here, you're like, oh, what's this stuff? Um... This is actually, these are a couple cards, Georgia Southern players. I went to college at Georgia Southern. Um, and this is Jarek McKinnon. Um, Adrian Peterson, not AD Adrian Peterson that's played Hall of Famer Adrian Peterson. This was Adrian Peterson that was drafted by the Bears. Uh, one of the greatest running backs in Division One AA history, Adrian Peterson. Um, but yeah, this is Georgia Southern Eagles. Um, I just kind of don't really like focus on collecting them. Just whenever I come across one, I'll, I'll keep it. If you want any other ideas of like who's currently in the league that's from Georgia Southern, I can name off the top of my head Matt Breida and uh, Young Way Koo, the kicker for uh, the Falcons. Um, this right here is the uh, Evolution of Man um, insert set from Alan and Ginter, and I always loved this. I collected the whole set back in the day. Uh, but yeah, just a cool thing. These actually, these pictures all line up. It's it's one continuous picture um, all the way to the end of the set, which is, you know, really cool. I just kind of got them in this binder so you can kind of see how they line up in some areas. Um, sorry about the glare here. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little insert set. I love the artwork on it. Um, but yeah, if you set them side by side, all, I think it's 25 cards, 26 cards, something like that. Um, they all line up together like these edges all just flow into each other which is pretty cool I think you can look it up online too uh, somebody's like stitched together all these images um, but yeah so that does it for my football collection uh, binder this was uh, part two of the Dolphins and then all my Hurricanes cards so I'm thinking by the end of next year when we do our binder review video uh, this will be sure the Hurricanes might have their own binder by then I might have you know accumulated enough Dolphins cards where I could split it up once again but yeah I appreciate everybody watching um, this binder video it looks like my camera just like rotated throughout this whole thing it just it feels weird it's just like everything's off center um yeah I appreciate all you watching these binder videos I know they're longer form videos and they're just me going through binders of cards uh, but I enjoy it gives me a chance to look at my collection which you should always do you know, if, if your collection is just sitting in a box somewhere, make sure to pull that box out on occasion and go through it. You know, go through and enjoy your cards. See what you got. You know, if you buy something off eBay, if you buy a single and you put it in a top loader and then you just toss it in a box and then you put the box up, yeah, you can say you have that card, but are you really enjoying that card? You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot, I know a lot of people enjoy the chase of a card. And then after you acquire it, that feeling's over. The, the thrill of the chase is over. Having the card means nothing. It was the chase, the journey all along. You know, you should always appreciate the fruits of your journey. It may not be as fun as acquiring these cards. First getting that card in your hand. That rush of, of getting the stuff. I understand that it, looking, at, looking at them afterwards is not as big of a rush as that. But definitely appreciate your stuff you know if you're a collector this is this is the fruits of your labor is your collection you know to see Dion Jordan draft bust that means something it does um, and all you collectors out there know what I'm talking about 
But yeah, let me just quit rambling. Remember, you can only control two things. It's your thoughts and your actions. Just stay positive. Keep filling up your binders. Keep filling up your boxes. However you um, hold your cards. And uh, yeah, stay positive. And, uh, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Enjoy them. And I'll catch you all later with another binder video. Peace.